Hello everyone, my name is Devin Adams. I am a Fortinet Certified Trainer here in Tempe, Arizona, working for Dynamic Worldwide Training Consultants. And uh, yeah, so I record these videos for my uh, past students just to kind of, uh, you know, reiterate on some of the demos that we might have seen in class. And anyways, enough of the spiel. In this demo, uh, we're going to do just a, a quick one here. Uh, we're going to change our Fortinet Manager into a 40 analyzer. Now when I say that I just mean adding the functionality of 40 analyzer to the Forta manager. So uh, because uh, surprisingly enough one or two people didn't know that the Forta manager can actually do the same things as a Forta analyzer to a degree. I mean there are some limitations there. Uh, most notably is, is log uh, log limitations. So if you need a dedicated appliance with lots and lots of storage just for log files uh, they want you to get a Forte Analyzer, but if you can keep within the scope of the limits of the Forte Manager, and each one has its own limits of how many log files it can bring in a day, you can still get the benefits of the reports, you can still get the benefits of the, um, of the Forte View, right, and also for event notifications. So let's just hop to it. So this lab environment I have been using uh, for a couple of demos here and it's starting to look like a mess. I'm going to have to trash it here soon. But I've added a 40 manager here in my virtual environment. Now I purposely used a demo version of the 40 manager. I'm going to give it a shot just so in case you guys want to throw in your own 40 manager uh, you can practice using it. Now uh, I have another video for that of how to create your own virtual lab environment so I won't say it here but uh, that's my goal so essentially what we're going to accomplish here is to configure the Forte manager as the Forte analyzer then we're going to connect the Forte gate to the Forte manager for logging so we're going to essentially tell the Forte gate to pass logs to the Forte manager and then once those logs start collecting we're going to see how it looks on the Forte manager and as a little bonus here I just thought to myself you know what we talked about it in class but I definitely did not demo it Let's see how we can make that Forta Manager into a local Fortinet distribution network or FortiGuard uh, server. So that kind of acts as a local cache for uh, your web querying and also for your antivirus updates and so on and so forth. Um, great reason to get a Forta Manager, right? Keep all that stuff locally instead of having to go out on the internet. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open up my domain controller here and I'm going to access that Forta Manager using the GUI. All right, so here is the IP address I gave it on port 1, 192, 168. There we are. Oh, no. Yeah. That's okay. We're going to fix one of those in one of these labs one of these days. Anyways, there we go. We log in. And as you can see, we're in our Forta manager. Now this is 5.4. 5, 5.6 5, might look a little different. 5.2 look way different. Anyways, um, but as you can see here, we have the normal tabs that we expect with Forta Manager, but none of the ones that we would expect with Forta Analyzer. All right, so to turn those features on, we're going to go to System Settings, and then in our console, all right, there is simply a check right here to turn on the Forta Analyzer features. Now, be aware it will reboot the system so you don't want to do it during a time where you might need uh, the Forta Manager to do Forta Manager things okay so uh, just as a little caution there and also make sure that you know about your disk usage so every Forta Manager is different so know what storage options are uh, available to you and I promise you once we turn it on we're gonna start seeing the logging limitations here now I have a VM machine and VMs are licensed differently. Uh, the other FortiGates might have different licensing, but basically what it is is the Forta Manager is licensed with a hard code limit of how many log files it can collect during a given 24-hour period, right? So if you go anywhere beyond that 24 hours, maybe it's a gig or, or what have you, they want you upgrading to a Forti Analyzer license, a separate appliance. Uh, just to something to keep in mind though, all right, so because the Forti Manager will not have as many uh, uh, hard drive solutions or storage solutions as a Forti Analyzer, if you come down here to the advanced settings, just be aware that the device log settings, all right, so these are going to be the the files that the Forti, Anal the Forti Manager collects as a Forti Analyzer, you can automate to upload the rolled file sides automatically to an FTP server. 
all right so I actually suggest that that way you don't have to worry about you know uh, files getting purged or anything like that from getting too big uh, you can get them off the FortiGate you can even delete the logs after uploading and keep everything nice and tight so um, just something to keep in mind there all right okay so but let's go ahead and turn on those features and see what happens all right bum, bum, bum. oh my gosh so hard are you sure it's gonna reboot I know it's okay so as it reboots we can actually see this in action right there we go as it reboots it's going to be turning on those services now <laughs> that are required to be a Forte analyzer because they're essentially the same platform all right so but once again if you need any kind of archiving if you need any kind of long-term logging solutions uh, you're going to probably want to invest in a dedicated box dedicated box so um, we'll wait for that to get a login prompt and then we'll log back into the GUI and see what has changed so okay <laughs> this is probably where I should hit the pause button I'm not a youtuber guys I'm sorry hey look at that what isn't that cool or what that's the abbreviation for Forte Analyzer so it's saying that it's initializing it's it's a little part of being a Forte Analyzer so there we go all right so let's go back to our DC all right come on junior there we go and we're gonna log in and the first thing you're gonna notice is is nothing come on boot up buddy it's thinking I can see the delay there I might have multiple windows loaded up here we go shut some of those down you can do it buddy all right and once again guys I do these demos on my laptop and sometimes running a lot of these machines can make it a little slower um, I might want to close down the web browser it's probably struggling with some cache here trying to cache the old web page and comparing the differences so let me go back all right there we go uh, what was that IP address 192.168.1.10 there we go I know we need to sign a cert one of these days we will all right okay there we are wow it's really thinking of course I'm using an outdated version of Internet Explorer <laughs> on a domain controller you never see that um, I have no idea what it's crunching along. So while that's working, I'm actually going to use a different machine here. I'm going to try try Chrome. Um, all right, here we go. 192.168.1.10. All right. Let's see how that does. Yep, we know about the cert error. Okay wonderful we'll have a little race now I have a separate thing going on in the background um, to collect log files and that's make internet noise.com it's just going to random web pages and I already have policies up to to look at that traffic because we need log files in order to do this all right so um, there we go so right away in Chrome it, it came up so I apologize about that guys uh, and as you can see here look at that it's actually building the SQL database that's required to run all of these neat reports so that might actually take a minute I promise you there's not enough on there for that many uh, um, minutes there so <laughs> uh, so I promise you that's okay uh, but let's go ahead and explore what's going on so if you notice we can almost cut it in half and we now have these extra tabs that we didn't have before things like for view for to log 40 log log view event management almost worth having it on its own and also reports so um, so for example here if we go to our log view all right we will eventually once we join FortiGates to this start seeing the log files on the individual devices and then we can 
scour for them and search for them and filter them as appropriately. So, and then also for our 40 view, as those log files come in, it will start representing them graphically um, using the 40 view. So, uh, but once again, it'll probably take a moment to rebuild that database, which is fine. Of course, there's nothing here because we haven't attached any FortiGates to it. So, uh, but FortiView is going to get the benefit of having those nice GUIs, right? Those nice graphical representation of our log files happening. Um, also, in 5.6, to look forward, there's now a knock view, too. That, that gives us even more professional-looking widgets. And then event management, and that's where we go ahead and we set thresholds for certain events so we can get notified either by this dashboard or also by a uh, email. We can do granular email alerts here too. Uh, I might do a, a separate video on just the Ford Analyzer and Ford Manager um, just because they're such neat products. But for this particular goal, I'm going to end it right here. I'm going to let that database build. And when we get back to the next video, let's Let's hook up some FortiGates to it and start dumping some log files. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot, and I'll see you in just a moment.